Nick stopped by to deliver the next challenge, and I think the ladies were pretty pleased with that. He's really cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Composure. It's the final four. You made it to the semifinals. Well done. Woo! Yes. yes! You guys are within reach of that dream. I love my role as host on this show because uh, it allows me the opportunity to hang out with all the groups and act as a support system to them. We all have dreams. I had a dream. Dreams are kind of the foundation of creativity. If we're lucky, we live that dream. We walked into the president of Motown's office and four white guys from Ohio sang a boys to men medley, a cappella, and got signed on the spot. And then here I am touring with boys to men. I'm still getting to live my dream that really hit home with us because this is what we do. It just proves that dreams really do come true. Which leads me to our next challenge. They call this Judge's Choice. So their goal here is to pick a song that's gonna bring out your strengths. It's kind of scary because we have to rely on what they believe that we can do. 10, Proud Mary by Ike and Tina Turner. <laughs> I figured you'd be OK with that, <laughs> all right? I was just like, perfect. Vocal Rush, My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark by Fall Out Boy. Ooh. We are so pumped to perform this song. Home Free, Colder Weather by the Zac Brown Band. <laughs> Love it. All right? That is my favorite country artist out there right now. Philharmonic, Baby, I Need Your Lovin' by the Four Tops. <laughs> Speaking of a little Motown. It's got that cool groove, and I think we can really play off that. You make it through this one. You're in the finale. It's right there. This is our final four. Only three are going forward. They all better bring it. You guys ready to get after it? Yeah. All right, get the hell out of here. Good luck. Yeah. Nick Lachey dropped by, and it was a really cool experience to talk to one of our musical idols from the 90s. Sometimes the, the harmonies get a little loose. What we used to do is to break it down into two parts. When you bring them all back together again, they lock in better than they, than they did if you just continue to rehearse it in four and four part. You know what I mean? Can I sing a little bit with you guys? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Nick Lachey wants to sing with the Philharmonic. And I'm like, what? Baby, I need your love Yeah. 98 degrees of Philharmonic. Yeah. <laughs> I think the judges picked this tune for us because they keep telling us to tighten up our harmonies. And who's a better model than the Four Tops? Performing Baby I Need Your Lovin' by the Four Tops, here is the Philharmonic. How you doing? Hey. Nick came in not as the host, but as an artist, which we could totally relate to. Being from a group, like, how did you guys keep a constant respect level? You all respect each other because you're fighting for the same thing. You work as a unit. And it's hard with 10 people. It was hard with four, four people in my yeah. case. Right. I was in a group with my brother and even we, who were a lot alike, oh, fought. Yeah, so, yeah, so my brother and I were in a... <laughs> hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. So you're never always going to get along all the time. But as long as you respect each other, you'll be fine. Thing is how we're a new group, we're taking the We're rehearsing the new tune, and Nick stopped by. Gosh darn it, he's pretty. I think the one thing that I can just kind of suggest you hone in on is, is the emotion of the song, you know? Really, really dig deep and make sure that the audience feels that, and if they're not buying it, they'll know it right away. It's got to really come from a genuine place. And I think that's what's going to set this thing over the top. I'm very familiar with ballads. When you sing a ballad from the heart, it, it comes from a place of real meaning and angst. The audience can't deny that, and, and that's what you want as a performer. You, you want an undeniable reaction. We're down to the final four. Lot of up, lot of up. We were rehearsing, and then Nick Lachey just pops out of nowhere. The pressure is definitely on. If you make it through this next performance, we're going to see you in the finale. And at that point, anything can happen. How do you, like, calm your nerves when you're about to go on stage? My mentality with nerves and with butterflies and all that stuff is it's a really good thing. The day you quit feeling the butterflies and the jitters, that's the day you don't care anymore. Every time I take the stage, I'm a little nervous. What I like to do, find a wall and lean into with every bit of strength you have. It kind of takes the tension and the stress out of your muscles and, and forces you to kind of relax for a minute. We do get nervous and we do get in our heads a lot, so we'll definitely be doing some of those Nick Lachey wall presses before we perform. Oh, yeah. 